God, we ask that you would bless this offering and bless each and every one that has it to give and those that have not. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Sister Anita coming up here and singing. Hallelujah. We've got another treat for you. Come on, Brother Walter. Amen. Bless us. Hallelujah. There you are. Hallelujah. There you are. When we least expect it sometimes, there you are, Lord. Praise his holy name. share the gospel through song. Brother, if that song don't play right, play another one till we get it, okay? And I hope I know it. I, know it. And I love the Lord, y'all. I know the Bible says I want to go to heaven. And sometimes it gets hard to seem like I want to give up. And the song she was talking about just a while ago, sometimes you want to give up. Christian, can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, we fail. Yeah, we fall down, but we get back up. Oh, 
I said he knows what we need, when, and how we need it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. This morning's message was supposed to have been for tonight. And tonight's message was supposed to have been for this morning. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did I mess up? No. <laughs> You know, when I realized what took place, I said, man, God knew what he was doing. Amen? Amen. Because I went into that office this morning with a uh, little to no sleep. Oh, I had everything together. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but anyway, God just, he just orchestrated everything. I asked my wife after we uh, took Kansas and uh, Candace and Charles home, I asked my wife, I said, what happened at church this morning? She said, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, inquiry minds want to know. <laughs> I said, I don't know. I said, everybody come to the altar. I said, what happened this morning? Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. All I know is God knows. Yeah. I don't have to know. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you, you come up here for something, I needed exactly what you needed. Amen? I needed that as well. Hallelujah. God is so good. He's so good. I'm telling you, he is so good. Hallelujah. Praise this holy name. Well, glory to God tonight. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. What we got here? Ignoring labels. Amen. How many of you uh, have had people label you? <laughs> okay, y'all catching on. Yeah, some of you. Yeah, there you go. I'll tell you what, I really love y'all because you just got it down bad. I mean, oh, uh, yeah, hallelujah. We've been labeled with this or that. You know, we've been labeled as being selfish or maybe unreliable, maybe even lazy, hypocrites, losers, worthless, useless, stupid, dysfunctional. We've been labeled with a lot of things. I was trying to witness to a guy and he said, you don't know, hold on to this, okay? He said, all I know you as is just old blue. You know, I, I know who you are. And he, he knew me from my past. And he labeled me with my past. Amen. And believe it or not, when I was a deer hunter, I had the ugliest dog you've ever seen. She had the coldest nose on her. People couldn't believe how she could track a deer. And her name was Old Blue. Hallelujah. I'm just an old dog named Blue. But the thing is, we, we I know. There you go. Hallelujah. Take it off. Take it off. We, we and you'll talk later. <laughs> no, really. We're labeled with things. I mean, on all kind of labels. People, people usually look into your past when they label you. Okay, maybe before you got saved or maybe even when you were saved and you made a mistake. That's usually the labels people put on you. When you fall, they label you for the reason you failed. Oh, I think, I think God, you're on the right track tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm glad this message is for tonight. Amen. And I'm glad tonight's message was for this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Man, talk about messing somebody up. <laughs> but the thing is, we've, we've been labeled with these things. And people keep those labels on you. When, when you try to tear them off, they stick them back on. Amen. The worst label I've ever had is when somebody stuck a thing on my back and it said, kick me. <laughs> Some of y'all get it a little bit. People will label you. 
If you don't do things just right, people will label you with that. Well, that person's kind of odd. Why are they odd? Because they don't do things like you do. Right. Amen? Amen. Are they wrong? You, you know, we, we say they're wrong. We put a label on it. Wrong, odd, wrong. Don't do it like I do it. Wrong, odd, wrong. Put those labels all over you. And, and you're kind of like this joker right here. Sometimes I feel like that. Labels all over me. Amen? But you are who God has made you to be. Yeah, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter if people look at you and say, well, thank God he threw away the mold. <laughs> it didn't make two of you. Okay? <laughs> but listen to me carefully. Men, if you have a son and you had a chance to raise that son, there's two. Because that boy's... <laughs> and ladies... If, if you've had a daughter and you've had a chance to raise that daughter, there's two, okay? And, as, and if you don't want to admit it, there's... <laughs> well, I can get deep in this tonight, but I'm not. I just want you to understand that there are labels. But listen to me. Ignore the labels. Do you understand? Ignore the labels and start following Jesus and let him put the label on you. That's the one that really matters. Okay? I lifted in my arms. Those little sticky pads, sticky notes. I was going to put one right here and preach to you. No, I better not do that. Let, let's let's stand. I, I just, let me let me get started in this. I mean, I could I could go on and on with the introduction. I just you know, but I, I, let me let me get into this word. Jeremiah chapter one. We're gonna read uh, verses four through eight. This was a man that had a label as being a child and not being sufficient enough to minister God's word. Okay. The, the, that's the label that he put on himself that others put on him. But hear what God says in Jeremiah chapter 1 beginning with verse 4. It says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee, let, let, me, let me back up. I'm going to make sure you catch this. Then the word of the Lord. Okay, you hear that? This is God speaking. The word of the Lord came unto me, say, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. There is God right there putting a label on Jeremiah as a prophet to the nations. Amen. Hey, let me, there's no better label than the one that God puts on you. Amen? There's, there's none that can, that can go above it. None that can, that's as strong, as powerful as the one that God puts on you. And if you've got that label, when people get around you, they're going to sense it. You hear what I'm saying? They're going to sense there's something about you that's different. Not because you walk around with the Holy Ghost twitch or anything like that. Not because you got hair down to your ankles. Not because you wear a dress to your uh, your, your, your waist, I mean your, 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 your wrist, and I can't even get the word out, to your wrist and down to your... What are you laughing about? <laughs> Hallelujah. No matter, it's just not there. It's, it's what's in you, what they feel. Amen. It's what they sense that's near them. So here he is. You came forth from your mother's womb, and I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, this is Jeremiah. This is what is. This is where we put our labels on ourselves. 
Okay? And you heard what my wife, she, she reprimanded me about putting on the label on myself. Then said I, oh Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. There went the label. Amen. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I send thee, and whosoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Amen. He put the label on, and he said, Don't be afraid. Whatever God, whatever label God has put on you, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do what he's called you to do. Don't be afraid to do what he's anointed you to do. Don't be afraid of his hand being on your life. My goodness. Let, let's go to this other one. Revelations 22, verse 3 and 4. It says, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. I believe it was Sister Donna that I was picking at, and she said, why is everybody picking on me? I said, it's right here, sister. <laughs> it's right here. Pick on me. Amen. But that's, that's what's on your forehead. The name of God. Nobody can take that off. Nobody can remove that. Amen. And, 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 and then it's not a tattoo. This is a permanent thing, amen? This is not something you can skin grab, dog. This is a permanent thing. This is something that won't let go. This is something that will be with you always. And you can either accept it and walk with it or reject it and run from it, amen? It will always be there, the name of God, as long as you hold on to it. It will always be there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for caring for us here. Dear God, I don't look at getting these messages swapped around as a mistake. Because I realize what took place this morning was meant to be. And what's taking place tonight is meant to be. God, I thank you because you know better than I know. And all I want to do is follow you and please you. And God, there's a room full of people here. They want to follow you and they want to please you, Lord. Speak to us this evening. Speak to us something that we'll take home with us. And that when we start to go to bed tonight, we'll start thinking about the label that you have placed on our life. And we'll start rebuking the labels that others have placed on us. Those negative labels that others have placed on us. God, I ask for your help here. Speak your words to us. And Lord, I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' lovely name we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> People see you one way, but God sees you another. People have labeled you one way, but God has labeled you another way. You can listen to the negative and stay down and depressed and crawl into a hole or in a cave and hide and whine and pine. 
or you can ignore those labels and you start listening to the one that lifts you up, that encourages you, that gives you life. You have a choice in this matter. Amen? You have a choice. King David, his brothers saw him as a shepherd boy, but God saw him as a king. His brothers labeled him as young, insufficient, insignificant, but God saw a king in his loins. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. When he, when he faced Goliath, Goliath saw David as a dog. But, hallelujah, God saw him as a warrior. Amen? Amen. Gideon, Gideon's family and the Midianites, they saw him as a coward because he was hiding behind the press, uh, sifting the wheat. But God saw him as a mighty man of valor. Amen? Rahab, boy, this one right here, I, all of them's good. But this one right here really messed me up. Rahab, everybody saw her as a harlot, and that she was. Amen. But God saw her future and realized that she was going to be of the lineage of Jesus Christ. Because King David was her great, great grandson. Amen. You see how people label you with things, but God sees just the opposite because God will take something that doesn't look good, something that seems to be worthless, insignificant, and he begins to change it, and he makes it out of something that is worthy of praise, worthy of glory, and worthy of honor. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. The Christian saw Saul of Tarsus as an enemy, but God saw him as an apostle of grace. Yes, amen. Can you imagine that? Yes, amen. Saul of Tarsus coming to kill and destroy the Christians. Mm -hmm. And then God speaks to a man that's praying, a man named Ananias. And he's telling him, go to the street called Strength, and you'll find Saul of Tarsus. He's praying. <laughs> what do you mean he's praying, Lord? This is an enemy of the Christians. Go pray for him that his eyes will be healed. Amen. Hallelujah. Saul wound up being an apostle that preached all about grace. He's the one that separated us from, from obeying the law per letter. Amen? To having the grace of God upon our hearts and lives. God used this enemy of the gospel to be one that changed all of humanity's way of thinking and way of looking at things. Amen? Hallelujah. John the Revelator, the Jews and the Romans saw John the Apostle as a threat and they put him on the Isle of Patmos to die. But God saw him as a visionary whom he would use to change the world. My goodness. See, God has placed a calling on your life. God has placed an anointing on your life. Amen. 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 God has placed his hands upon your life. Yes. Yes. Praise his <laughs> holy name. <laughs> well, we had a struggle by here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hallelujah. God is, God, if God has a calling on your life and God has anointed you and God has his hand, listen to me, and God has his hands upon your life, Amen. no one else better touch you. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? No one 
had better touch you. Yeah. Mm, my goodness. Wow, I didn't know that was coming out. This morning, Brother De Silva called about something that was other than the revival. And he, he quoted that verse where it says, uh, touch my, not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. That it's better than a millstone to be tied around your neck and you cast into the bottom of the sea than to touch or harm one of my anointed ones. Amen. Amen. You know, that, that's some serious stuff right there. And, and I'm, not, I'm not preaching this about me. A lot of ministers get up there and they're talking about their self. I'm talking about you. You understand? I'm talking about you. You know, some people have a cockiness about that. Like, don't mess with me, God. I do something bad to you, you know. Yeah. That, that's, that's not it. That's right. You be humble before God and man. Yeah. You try to keep peace yeah. with God and man. Yeah. And let God take care of the rest yeah. of it. Yeah. Because if you do what's right, whether everybody else is doing what's wrong, God will be there for you. Amen? You understand what I'm saying? And for every one of you here, I, I don't care who you are, if you're a Christian, if you're trying to please God, if you're trying to serve God to the best of your ability, I, I, I'm not talking about the faults you have. I'm not talking about the mistakes you make. I'm talking about your heart is to serve Him, to love Him, and to please Him. Then you have a calling on your life, you have an anointing on your life, and you have the hand of God on your life. People, people don't want, you know, there's, I, I shouldn't pick on ministers, you know. There's, but there's some of them that, you know, they, they look at it as themselves. I want you to know. I want you to know that this is on your life. I'm not talking about me. I know what God's got on me. I know what God's doing for me. I know where I'm, I stand with God. I'm talking about you, amen? You own up to it. You own up to that, that label he has on your forehead that says God's child, amen? Hallelujah. God's child. God's child. Hallelujah. You know, there, there used to be a whole lot of talk about the number 666 about the Antichrist. I mean, you know, there's not a whole lot of talk going on about it. And maybe in some realms there is, but a lot of them there's not. But, uh, you know, you, you can allow the enemy to come in and, and label you if you want to. But he cannot put 666 right here where it says God's child. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? He can't do it. Amen. He may take a hot iron, throw you down on the ground, and brand you with it, but he can't erase where it says God's child. Only you can erase that. Man, only you can. So I, I, I'm just sharing with you tonight. You need to ignore all these labels. There's a lot of labels that'll mess you up. Okay? When you get in a group of, of people, um, sometimes, you know, it's, it's usually a mixture, okay, a, a mixture of people. You have uh, Christians, you have sinners, okay, you have different levels of sinners, okay, you have some that just, you know, they, they do a little cussing and swearing, and then you have some that, that do a little cussing, a little drinking, then you have some that do a little cussing, drinking, and, and adultery fornication. Then you have some that does a little cussing, drinking, uh, adultery fornication, and stealing. And then you have some that adds murder in with it. Okay? Well, when you stack them up side by side, did you know they're all the same? Amen. 
Hallelujah. You know, you thought I was going to categorize them one big, one small. When it's sin, sin when you stack it up. Amen. When you stack it up, it's, it's all the same. So you have that mixture in a crowd. Then you have Christians. You have your Baptists. You have your Methodists. You have your Presbyterian. You have your Assembly of God, your Church of God, your interdenomination, your uh, non-denomination. You, you, you just have a Catholic. You have all kinds. You have all kinds in that crowd. And, and some of them believe in just a, a, a little dab of duty of Jesus. And, and some, you know, some believe you need a whole lot. And some believe you can have a little of sin and a little Jesus and just hold them hand in hand and just dance to the music, okay? I'm not going to dance for you, okay? Hallelujah. But the thing is, the ones that really make a difference are the ones that have the label on their the ones that have the label on their forehead alright God's child come on up here and wear a pharmacist no I'm just kidding God's child some have that label. They're the ones that's really making the difference. Amen. You understand? And if you got that label, remove that precious hair. <laughs> and you have that <laughs> label on your forehead. You hear me? You have that label. You're making, you're the one making the difference. Amen. You're the one. Everybody's doing everything they want to do. Everybody's going and, and, and fulfilling their desires and their passions. But then you see that Christian. I'm not talking about one that, that, that looks like they're wearing something that come off the Mayflower. Now, I'm not talking about that. I, I'm talking about somebody that's really a Christian. That's, that's in love. God that's in love with Jesus. Somebody that's got the Holy Ghost abiding in them. Somebody that when they walk into a room, people like, hmm. hmm. They want to look at you a couple times because something come into the room before they did. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I said something come in the room and prepare the way. Hallelujah. You be that one. Anybody listening? You be that one. You be that one that he goes before you into that crowd. And you walk through it. And they know you're there. Amen. You can walk into a room full of religious people. Okay, and, and I'm using this religious thing as they do the form. Come on. Amen. But they don't live the life. They just do the form. Okay. They do the form. They know the language. They know they know the walk. Amen. They know the clothes. Hallelujah. Praise God. They know the shape. <laughs> Hallelujah. But they're not in love Jesus. with the one that died on the cross. Jesus. You can walk into that room yes, and they'll Jesus. snub you. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Sister. Jesus. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Shoot. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> I am not. We, we, we were 
We had this one couple on Facebook, and, and there for a long time I, I was watching them, and I, I made fun of them a little bit, and and uh, and, and I, I just, I mean, I didn't understand it. So they're sitting in the cat on the couch, sitting in the fireplaces behind them, and they're talking a little bit. And uh, and one will say, "I think we need to start talking uh, in the Holy Spirit." And he'll start going, oh, talk, 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 talk. and you just sit there doing it. She'll be speaking something, you know, and then she'll go, "Oh yeah, that's a good thing." Oh, talk, 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 talk. And I'm like, I, I told my wife, I said, "Honey, look at this," you know. <laughs> I'm talking about something. The, the, it's, the Bible says that when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you receive power. Okay? You receive power. And the evidence of it is the speaking in tongues when the Spirit gives others. Amen? That's the true thing right there. Not, I think we'll talk in tongues a little while. I'm sorry, you know, if, if people watch me and want to criticize me for saying this, I'm sorry. But I want what's real. I want what moves people. I want what changes people. I want what transforms people. Well, no, 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 shut up. Well, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody better watch the OG. Note the Church of God, the COG page, because we're liable to have some comments on it. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's go after what's real. Let's let God label the real thing on us. Get rid of those labels. Hey. My wife's got a niece. She is hilarious. Especially when she gets around me. She says, well, hello there, pastor, reverend, bishop, chaplain, doctor, evangelist, Buford Horace Smith Blue Jr. They're labels. They're labels. Okay. My parents put a label on me that will last a lifetime. I was born with it. I'll die with it. It says Buford Horace Smith Jr. Hey, don't get hung up on the horse. <laughs> Amen. Isn't that right, Brother George? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't get hung up on these things. The one that you need to get hung up on. Is the one that God puts on your forehead. Amen. God's child. Amen. Amen. That's the label. That's the label right there. Because if you're his child. It doesn't matter about the rest. Amen. Now. Don't do like. I've seen some that. They're, they're cocky. I don't care what people think about me. I don't care. You know, I don't care. Gotta care. Right. Amen. Amen. Because if you care, you can reach them. Amen. If you don't care, brother, they'll shun you. Right. Sister, they'll shun you. You got to care. Don't worry about the labels now. Just be a child of God. Amen. But you see, David's brothers, all they could see is a shepherd boy, a brother. But God saw him. Did he? Everybody saw him as a coward, bent down, hiding, sifting wheat. But God had an angel say, Thou mighty man. Rahab. Oh, she was just over flimsy. We know what type of person she is. God says, that's all right. I 
I'm going to change her. I'm going to save her. I'm going to clean her up. And out of her loins is coming greatness. Amen. Don't worry about the labels. Don't worry about the labels. Just make sure you're in love with Jesus. Make sure you're a child of God. Father, thank you. Thank you for your love, your mercy, your grace, God. God, I thank you for this message because I've struggled with those labels people have put on me. I've struggled with them. It seems like, God, I, I have labels strewn all over the place that people have put on me. But God, you're speaking something different tonight. You're speaking to me. You're speaking to everyone here and those that are listening via Facebook. God, that you have placed your label on those you love and those that love you. Those that are hungry for you. Those that thirst for you. Those that wake up in the morning wanting to be in your presence. Those that lay their head down at night wanting to be in your presence. Those that walk through the day wanting to be in your presence. God, you have placed a label on them that says, this is my child. Hallelujah. And the world cannot touch it. Hallelujah. If you're one of those, I'm asking you to hold on to it. Hold on tight. Don't let any distractions Hallelujah. take your mind elsewhere. Pull your eyes ex in any place other than focusing on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise because Jesus is on your side. Yes. And if God is for us, I'm going to say it again. If God is for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Does anyone understand this message tonight? Do you understand what God, and, and I'm telling you, this is what God has spoke tonight because I was supposed to have preached this message this morning. That's what I had lined up. But God wanted different. And he wants every one of you to know if you're in love with him, he's got his name on you. He's called you. He's anointed you. And he's got his hand upon your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
couldn't eat anything, couldn't hardly go. And and I, honestly, when I come in, I just looked over here and I, I saw Amber sitting there. And I, I just, you know, walked on, you know, talking to people. And then I walked by and I kind of looked up there and Amber was standing there. And then I looked back and because I did not expect her to be here tonight. But I, I want to just share with you, there's a lot of labels that's been put on me. But God wants to take all those labels off. And he wants to put his label on your feet. He wants to do that tonight. I, I'm not talking about tomorrow. You know, when you make up your mind. He's already made up his mind what he wants to do for you. Amen. He's got more whole shot In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I believe in you right now, Lord. God, you're a sinner here. You're a caller. You're an anointed her. If you got your hands on it, Lord, it's up to her what she wants to do, Lord. God, you've torn off the labels and you're ready to stamp your name on her forehead. Sit up a whole shot tonight. Do the work, Holy Ghost. Do the work this evening, Holy Ghost. Sit up a whole shot tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. My goodness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, dear God. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, dear God. My goodness. Hallelujah. God is here tonight. Amen. God is here tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Praise His holy name. Praise his holy name somebody. Hallelujah. Just praise his holy name tonight. Because God is here. He's in this place. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being here for us. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Thank you, dear Lord. He's here. He's moving. Hallelujah. He's here. He's moving. Amen. He's here. He's moving. 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 He's here. He's
and call him a mighty man of valor. If God can take a harlot, clean her up, and let the lineage of Jesus come from her loins. Yes. If God can take a man that's a murderer of Christians and change him and make him apostle of grace. If God can take a, an elderly prophet that's on an island destined to die and get him off of that because he's going to, he's the, the revelations that he's had in his life is going to change the world. Not just in his time, but in our time. Amen. If God can do all that, he can do the same for you. I don't care what label that's on you. I don't care what the enemy says. I don't care how he's fighting. I don't care about the lies and the deception. But if you want to hold that book and keep reading it, or you want to let go of it and let God take care of this man, in the name of Jesus, Yes. 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 You see, there's days we wake up and that's what we're eating for breakfast. That's what we have for lunch. And really, all of it is just labels. But that last one is what matters. It's called dead. And that's what Satan wants. He says he's out to steal, kill, and destroy. But you know what Jesus said about that? He said, I have come that you, David, will have life and have it more abundant. So don't let this be your breakfast. Don't let it be your mother. Don't let it be your supper. Amen? Let Jesus be your breakfast. Let Jesus be your breakfast. Let Jesus be your supper. My goodness. He don't want to shut down. Hallelujah. Because greater is he that's in you than he that is in you. Hallelujah. 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 Walk in Tear the labels off. And say, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. And I'm going to walk humbly before God and man. I'm going to walk humbly. Do you hear this? This is scripture. Walk humbly before God and man. Walk humbly before God and man. Sometimes it's hard. It's not the easiest thing to do. Especially when everything's pulling two dogs and a fight trying to pull something apart. Amen? Hallelujah. But it's all until you say sit on it. Amen? You understand what I'm saying about that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's let the enemy fail. Let's let him fail. Let's let the enemy fail. And let's let Jesus win. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak it right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. He says, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. Say, Lord, let the spirit do it. Let the spirit do it. Let the do it. The Lord, I'm yielding to it. I'm yielding to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing. Healing. See the da 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 da
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I need some ladies. Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God, you see this person she's standing in the behalf of. Visit that room. Visit that room. Change these things. Heal these things in the name of Jesus. Make a difference. Turn things around in her life. Hallelujah. My wife's standing in the gap for her, Lord. We're supposed to stand in the gap for our brothers and sisters. And we're standing in the gap for her. You know, the whole shot time. Yes, Holy Ghost. I know you're doing it right now. I know you're doing it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Turn this thing around. Turn it around, Lord. Turn it around. Somebody needs something. You need something. You need something this evening. Hallelujah. You need, I see it. You need something. You need a whole shut down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.